What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Today's episode, we're back in the offensive scheme of the week, back into the West Coast offensive playbook. Today's formation is going to feature our zone beater, and out of the West Coast, if I was going to pick one formation that I had to use to beat zone coverage, it would be the near pro. Um, I love the near pro, and I love the Texas passing concept, and that's what this whole offense is centered around. So, um, the near pro coming out in this, this is, uh, again, another formation we can easily access uh, out of our base set, the Far Twins. Um, we also They also added the near Y left twins this year. Um, so if you guys like that formation a little better, you can use that. But I personally, if we're strictly talking zone coverage, I like the near pro. Uh, and I really like to play Texas. So oftentimes, you know, we'll see cover four, cover six, whatever. Um, and this basic, basically, um, first things first, I want to show you this halfback inside. Uh, just like that halfback dive out of far pro, it gets really good blocking. And another thing that's really cool about this is the ease at which you can audible in and out of far twins. So we could motion waltz across as if we were running like a halfback dive and then run the same passing concept we're going to talk about in a minute, the same Texas passing concept. Or it, 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 we could just do a lot with this, guys, honestly. Um, we could run this halfback screen, and what we could do with this is now go... Two guys to the left side, motion walls across to clear space. Now you have one more extra blocker. It's all sorts of different things you can do with this formation. Just with that one little motion and the effectiveness of this halfback inside in Texas. So let's get into this and discuss this. First and foremost, guys, the run out of this. Again, I can't stress that enough. That run is an automatic yard and a half. If you're in a no-huddle situation, and we're going to talk about a three-headed rushing attack tomorrow. But if you're in a no-huddle situation, you need a first down, call this run. You would do yourself a disservice if you did, and you have it in your quick audibles. Take advantage of it. Next play, uh, I want to take a look at this. The halfback slip screen. What we like to do with the halfback slip screen is we're going to take our tight end. We're going to place him on a zig. We're going to take our outside receiver and drag him across the formation. We're going to put our fullback on a swing pass. We like to set our depth trip arc to have a, a faster guy than Miller there, but it's just a little screen pass, a little double swing screen. And uh, we like to take advantage of the blocking there. Um, that's really all we do with that. Um, that's for zone blitzes. Uh, PA strong flow. We like to drag Mike Wallace here underneath. And uh, our first read is to the flats against cover four. Miller will be open. Um, our second read is going to be against um, a, a standard cover three. And against a standard cover three, that corner route to the tight end uh, will be open. You can take advantage of that. And then against um, like a cover two or cover two sink or, or whatever they may throw at us with two deep. Uh, typically against two deep we'll have that drag right underneath. Uh, pretty effective. And then uh, last but not least, our little uh, inverted post route. Um, it's not a, the best route against zone. But it's still pretty effective because it gets in a, a really tender spot underneath those safeties. Take advantage of that against any zone coverage uh, just as long as you know that it's open. Um, now into the Texas into the Texas passing play. Um, we don't have to make any adjustments. Um, against cover four, you're going to hit the underneath. You're going to hit uh, Miller underneath. Against cover three, um, if they're in cover three, um, typically you'll have that seam to Keller pass lead that to the right in that situation. Another thing we like to do is put Heartline on that smart routed out route if we want to. And if the cover three is not a purple zone, we can throw that out route with uh, pretty good confidence that it'll be open. If it is a purple zone, of course, um, you want to check down to your underneath back uh, Miller here. And then um, if it's a cover two, what about cover two sink? More, more common defenses in the game. Um, you're going to have this underneath. Um, you're going to have the underneath wide open to your running back once again. And um, the cool part about this is that you'll find that guys will start to use their guard display. So what if, for example, they use their guard at the halfback? Well, so, so they're in a cover two sink, but they're going to use their control, the middle linebacker, and use their guard at the halfback. If they go for the halfback, look at that big void for the tight end. You see all that? That's why it's just a simple two-man read between those guys, and it makes it very effective against zone coverage because the zones can't can't defend this. It's a, it's a stretching the zones uh, 101, guys. The Texas passing concept, a staple of the West Coast. Obviously, we can mix in um, some motions and, and different things like that, create a little makeshift single-back ace, whatever we want to do. 
Um, but one of the more effective formations, guys, uh, near pro, beat zone coverage. Check out our run offense tomorrow.